Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Let's see Cancer how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Cancer, these are general collective readings, right? Will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Cancer and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, let's begin your reading, Cancer. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And Cancer, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Cancer. Mm, new newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One set will be for you, one set will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, action cards, etc. If this is your reading cancer, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is person A and this is person B. Bottom of my deck, I have a king of wands in reverse. Well, well, well. Has somebody been very selfish in this uh, connection? Um, cancer or maybe somebody now wants to take action but they really don't know how to i do see somebody is very stressed out they do want to okay so just putting that out there um from what i'm feeling here cancer it's a matter of maybe commitment um maybe one person feels it's over that person is just not committing or is it being emotionally manipulative or this commitment's not going anywhere the other person on the other hand does want whatever problems that have come between the two of you to be over they do want to return cancer they do want to return okay so i don't know which side of the equation you are on but um, i do see one person does want to return so of course we'll figure it out cancer later but first let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other now what that would be and then we'll do the clarification so cancer and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be cancer and their person cancer and their person okay I'm going to take a few more cancer from another deck and uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is in the description box below you can reach me there cancer oops sorry wrong deck this one all right cancer and their person spirit cancer and their person cancer and their person okay Good to go, Cancer. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, Sometimes, because I know we'll be together, I take you for granted. Well, this could be somebody who is being a bit selfish, right? In a uh, connection saying, Hey, you know, I'll deal with you later. I know we're going to be together. I can behave the way I want to. This lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully, I can do better next lifetime. I can't stop thinking about the times we once shared. I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you're looking at them at the same time that I do. I can see myself settling down with you, but not right now. Maybe this is the past. Maybe this is what uh, one person was always thinking, taking their person for granted and I'll deal with them later. Well, maybe they always saw the potential in this connection, but uh, left it for later. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to. Well, one person could be getting fed up now and saying, enough, I'm not going to be taken for granted. If you're going to behave like this, I might as well move on with someone else, right? You made me realize that I had flaws. I'm trying to do better now. And the last one here, Cancer says, I want you to trust me. Trust that I will know the right time to take things to another level. All right, Cancer, these were some of your messages. 
If these were resonating, let's start your reading. I'm going to start uh, with our angel blessing card as we always. Let's see what my angels have for you today. As a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for cancer. Signs from above. Well, you are being guided, that's for sure, Cancer. You are getting signs and synchronicities, so take, keep a look out for those repeating numbers, repeating songs. Well, somebody could say something or you, you know, probably see a person's name here and there. I don't know. My angels have many mysterious ways of uh, sending you signs to just be on the lookout for them. So th basically what this means is you are, you are guided and you have your angels around you, taking you in on your right path, okay? So let's put this here. Now let's start with the energy of person A. We'll just concentrate on one side uh, cancer then we move on to the other. So person A, what's the uh, ten of uh, pentacles for you? Ten of pentacles for person A. Person A I think always wanted, wanted a long term safety, security. Uh, they were looking forward to maybe a commitment initially uh, because they had unconditional love for their person, right? But then there was a tower moment. What was the tower tower that fell on person A spirit? Somebody, maybe they expected them to make a choice and decide, are we committing? Are we going the long haul? But somebody didn't do the right thing. Justice in reverse. Yeah, and this connection could have felt like it's come to an end. From person A's end because well somebody didn't choose uh, Hierophant in reverse Hierophant in reverse yeah this has led to the imbalance in the connection because one person felt I am carrying all the burden of this connection that means I want a happily ever after the other ones not making a choice then not committing so what am I doing you know being feeling overwhelmed and overburdened with um, me being the only person who's uh, maybe has this, this view that we are going to be together forever. So what happened person A in the recent past that you are feeling this way? King of Cups in reverse. Well, person A could have felt a bit emotionally manipulated by person B maybe. Uh, they were looking for an emperor. They were looking for somebody who is going to take responsibility, who is actually going to commit, who is going to be there for the long haul. Instead, they could have felt that they were dealing with somebody who was just not opening up, being uh, emotionally distant and not opening up about their feelings. And uh, then what happened? Then what happened, person A? Yeah, person A said, if you're not going to be an equal partner to me, if you're not, we are not going to have equal give and take, well, it's better that we stop this connection right here. Person A could have picked themselves up and said, all right, I still have it. You know, I've still got it. I'm still the queen of wands. I'm not going to hang around for somebody to take me for granted. Maybe I should go somewhere else and do something else. Queen of wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please, in the recent past. Yes, somebody became single and uh, decided if you're not going to invest in me or us, then uh, I'm disappointed. And if you're never going to put in any work, then I'd rather concentrate on myself, be single, be independent, maybe, you know, pursue my own desires, my own passions, my own work, my own stability. And, um, well, maybe somebody new, maybe another soulmate. But how do you feel about person B now, uh, person A? How do you feel about the connection? How are you feeling now about this relationship? Person A says, well, ten of swords in reverse. According to person A, they feel very betrayed. They feel it's ended and it's time now maybe to see what else is out there. Right? Yeah, they f person A feels they were dealing with a trickster. It's time to turn my back on this trickster who showed me nothing but illusions and uh, was selfish and just didn't do right by me. So if you've decided that uh, person A, why are you in the Eight of Swords? What's stressing you out then? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords then? One more. One more. Ooh. 
one more some person a feels i don't know one second one more Ah, okay. Eight of Swords is clarified actually by the Eight of Swords in reverse. They feel, person A feels that each time, each time they try and have a constructive talk or communication. This is Queen of Swords to the King of Swords, right? Tell me what's going on. Tell me, are we going to be, if we, are we going to be there for the long haul? It always ends up in some kind of argument, some kind of fight, some kind of power game that person B tries to play with them. So, well, I think person A is uh, getting unstuck. They're getting unstuck. They're saying, I can't live in this uh, Eight of Swords for uh, forever, right? I'm going to unchain myself. I'm going to cut those ropes which keep me in my mind trap. No, there's no point because what's the point each time this discussion comes up they end up having an argument they always put me down they almost always made me make me feel i'm not uh, you know worth it or good enough so yes person a could be cutting the chains and saying i'm i'm releasing myself so what action person a will actually take i'll open later uh, cancer let's go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling Person B, you have the devil in reverse. Why is that? What's the devil in reverse? Okay, one more. They are feeling very proud. Oh my God. Oh my God. The devil in reverse is clarified by the devil in reverse. I think they are realizing their toxic ways. Uh, they, are, they want to actually come back. They want to charge like without thought this is the first thought i think in their mind is can i quickly go and do something to remove the toxicity or they they know that they're going to re, um, they're going to lose their four of ones okay they feel they're going to lose their future they're going to lose their stability and what else and they're going to lose <laughs> the ten of pentacles Okay, so this person is very, very frustrated. They feel, either they feel that our, you guys have had a fight and person A has now released them or now they are fearing that they are going to be losing their future and uh, they want to charge and come towards person A. Uh, because there is an eight of cups in, in reverse here. This is usually a card of somebody returning. So what's the eight of cups uh, in reverse for you, person B? What's the eight of cups in reverse for you? Eight of Cups in reverse. One more. They want to go back to their person who they think is, uh, well, the perfect person. But somebody who is very loyal, who is very kind, who is very nurturing, who is very giving, is financially doing well for themselves and takes care of others. They want to uh, return back. They are very, very scared that this Queen of Pentacles has been drained out or they're exhausted or tired and don't want them back or maybe don't love them anymore. They are feeling the loss of this love now. Okay, they're feeling the loss of this love and they know that if they don't return back immediately, they're in danger of uh, losing their future. So what happened? Let's say what, what happened according to you, what happened uh, person B in the recent past? Four of Pentacles. Well, person B says either they held back from making a decision. Yeah, they didn't have the courage or they, they were not strong enough. And they could have held back or yeah, something happened where this connection stagnated. They didn't put in work. They didn't put in work in this connection. They didn't make the choice to make it work. And well, they got their bad karma. Things got stuck. Right? Uh, what's the lovers? What's the lovers spirit? What's the lovers? Yeah, I think uh, they, they feel they've if not totally, they've almost lost a beautiful soulmate connection because now they figure that person A is not fighting for them anymore. 
or maybe in the past they never fought for this connection maybe they were not sure because this card did come out sideways uh, cancer maybe they were not ready to acknowledge this connection maybe they just wanted to keep it hanging till they d decided or something so how do you feel about the connection now person b Person B says, Om Kara Taro, I've now realized that person A is everything to me. They are where the sun shines. They are the, my sunshine. <coughs> they are my sunshine. See, they're not letting me talk because uh, this person has emotion, um, trouble talking about their emotions. But uh, yes, person B says, they are my happiness. This connection is my happiness. I do want to have the four of ones with them. So clarify the sun for me, please. Why do you see this connection as sunshine and four of wands? They want to come and reveal some secret they've been hiding. That they want to come back. That they do see person E as their soulmate. They do want to return. There's two cards I've got of return, Cancer. The first was the Eight of Cups in reverse and now the soulmate connection. This is again a car card of somebody from your past wanting to return and and actually speak out. They, if they've been hiding things or they haven't been saying the right things, they actually do want to now reveal all. Um, for a once, for a once, the world in reverse, yes. <clears throat> One more. And the eight of uh, swords in reverse, yes, this person wants to come. They can't, they, they can't deal with this uh, anxiety anymore. This person is very frustrated, very anxious. They can't sleep at night. They are worried. They are stressed out. They're figuring out a way how they can uh, not have this, uh, you know, connection closed down on them. They're feeling, uh, I want another go around. I don't want to end this connection. My God, do they want to charge towards person A? Absolutely, because now they recognize this connection. Or maybe they always have, but, uh, you know, for some reason, which they'll come and tell you because they're not telling me. They're saying, I'm going to tell it to my sunshine when I go. I'm going to reveal all. I'll tell them all my secrets, whatever I've been hiding in my heart. Okay? <clears throat> Do you want to tell me as well, uh, person B? I'm very curious. What do you want to tell person A? What's the secret you want to tell person A? That uh, they want to have a reunion. That they're happy. They feel joyous when they are with person A. Um, there is happiness and sunshine in their life. Everything looks brighter with person A in their life. Alright, so... Maybe this person was uh, a bit selfish or self-centered in the past, right? This card has shown up twice um, uh, at the bottom of my deck, both both the decks, right? So maybe this person wasn't in a, they were a bit uh, self-centered or focusing only on themselves or focusing on getting attention from people and not giving focus to the actual connection that they should have. But I think this person has now kind of gone through some kind of tower moment. I, I do see a huge tower here that person B has gone through. All right. So let's see what actions you guys will take. Now I'm going to take another deck for this one, Cancer. And while I'm shuffling these cards, may I please request you to just hit that like button for me, please. It just helps the videos to circulate. And yes, it makes me really happy to know how many of you uh, <coughs> I'm connecting with. And uh, newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell. Oh, okay. I was just trying to shuffle and this card forced itself out. So I'm going to keep these two cards out. Um, something that person B wants to say, they want to come back. They're having a lot of sweet memories of the past. They can't stop thinking about person A, looking for starting anew. They want to take that risk and come back. Okay. So <clears throat> even though I hadn't asked any questions, these two cards just push their way out. So, <clears throat> oh God, what's happening to my throat? So as I was saying, uh, newcomers, uh, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way then um, YouTube can then notify you when new videos are released. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Person A, what action will you take towards person B? Eight of Wands. Why is that an action? Are you planning to communicate with them? Person A. 
ah, queen of swords okay one more one more I think person A has become a little guarded yeah they, they haven't made up their mind yet but I think person A is a bit guarded they're sitting in their queen of uh, uh, Queen of Swords energy, which I saw earlier as well. This person has a lot of stress where they feel each time we communicate. Um, I don't know whether I want to communicate because because what if they stress me out again or what if they behave badly again? Um, person A hasn't made up their mind. I think half their mind. I, I could be wrong. You can tell me in the comments somewhere in their subconscious they do feel if if person b does come back with communication and they behave themselves like give an apology uh well i did dream of a ten of cups with them maybe i can forgive them only 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 if um, they come forward with good communication so i don't think a person is really closed off but they are stressed and worried because till now whatever every time i think you guys have tried to communicate it's ended up in some kind of argument or fight right am i right person a is that your action that's too many could be one by one please what's your action yeah, the uh, person A wants to have victory one way or the other. Either you come back with an apology. Yes, I'd be happy to maybe, you know, because I do see a future with you. And if not, well, I'm, I'm happy on my own. I am doing well. I am in a good place. I think this person A has ascended to a level where they're feeling pretty good about themselves. And either person B comes back with some honesty or person A is going to, well, curl up in their own little nest and say I'm good I'm good the way things are I'm not going to be the first one maybe to you know because in the past communication hasn't gone well so I'm going to wait and watch if they come back well and with an apology we'll see okay so person B what's your action page of wands they are going to be sending a message page of wands why is that an action what is this action okay that's nice one more person b is action person b is action knight of swords again my god this person really wants to come forward they want they've been listening to their intuition it seems cancer person b has been listening to their intuition they want to come forward they want to either send a message to meet up or talk or something this person is actually desperate to come back what they really they this person wants to somehow end the conflict between the two of you and they are hoping that a peaceful resolution can be reached right so you guys can move on together now happily uh, this person has also been gui been guided maybe they are also getting signs and synchronicities which are pushing them back uh, towards person a well this person is, seems kind of ready ace of pentacles they are coming in to offer something very stable it may start off with just a message but underlying that their their frustration is they can't wait to reach back into a place of harmony with person a right they are ready to offer something very stable and they'll be they like look at this please can we begin again i'm ready to offer you something tangible okay so well that's all i have for you cancer today till next time then love and light take care namaste